Hi Gemini, this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for June 2019 for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. If you would like to win a free reading with me, information is going to be in the description box of this video. Not the description box, the, yeah, no, the description box. I was thinking of something else. The description box of this video, it's very, very simple to enter, so just check that out if you're interested. It will literally only take you a second to enter, I feel. Um, and also, if you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. And my bracelets, which are on Etsy, they will also be down below, linked in the description box of this video. Thank you so much to those of you who have supported and bought those bracelets. I really hope you see the effects of them, and they are so inexpensive as well, and they're handmade by me. Um, they start from £3 with free international shipping worldwide. So if you're interested, definitely check those out. There are so many on my Etsy. So Gemini, let's get started. Let's get started. I was going to sing, but I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear me sing. Okay, a lot of you right now are really holding on a lot of strength in terms of the situation. I feel a lot of emotional vulnerability. I feel like, you know, you're just, a lot of you are hoping and you're having a lot of strength. You're in your power, which is a good thing to see because that's what the queens do. Um, again, male or female, remember there's no genders in tarot. You could be a male and still have a very queen energy or you could be a you know, a female can have a queen energy. Um, but a lot of you are really holding on to a lot of strength. There's a lot of emotional vulnerability. Very much so in your power. We've got the Knight of Wands here. A lot of you have an urge to reach out to your twin flame. And I'm seeing that because this fire energy is tempting you to do so. Strength is ruled by Leo. Knight of Wands is ruled by Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. So a lot of you are feeling quite emotional and you're wanting to reach out to your twin flame or get some form of closure. Or for some of you, you just want to know what's going on. You know what, want to know what they're feeling about you. You just want to know. I'm seeing it's best for you to not do that because what I'm seeing is that they reach out on their own. I'm also seeing with that Four of Wands, it's best to really just move away from talking to them. Um, the reason I'm seeing that is because they reach out to you on their own. So right now in the situation, things are looking a little bit all over the place. So that's why I want to pull some more cards. But that Four of Wands is really indicating that if you have an urge to reach out to them, it's best to adapt to strength and focus on yourself. And also again, focus on yourself with that Four of Wands. Sorry, Four of uh, swords. Four of Swords is about resting, retreating, meditating, not battling with yourself or others. And so I do feel it's very, very important to have that focus towards yourself more than anything else. Because I feel like if you reach out to them, it's going to cause a little bit of conflict. And I do feel like it's best to just let things be for now because I feel like your twin flame is going to reach out to you eventually on their own. So this is that conflict I'm seeing with the Five of Wands. Ten of uh, Swords here indicates that, you know, there's been some hurt in the past in regards to your Twin Flame. It's best to leave the situation right now um, because I feel like they will eventually reach out with that Knight of Wands as well. But this also indicates that you have this urge to reach out to them as well. You feel very conflicted in the situation. You definitely feel hurt as well. And there's, again, that emotional sort of energy that I'm feeling. A lot of you want answers on your Twin Flame situation. You're also wishing that they come back around as well. And then on the other hand, some of you are like, no, I'm much stronger than this. I'm much more balanced. I want some. I want my life to be grounded and balanced and better. So you're kind of going between two ways. Some of you want to let go of your Twin Flame. Some of you are really wanting to. You go between that energy of wanting to let go and then really wanting them. It's, it's just very heavy two-sided energy that I am feeling. That's what I'm really sensing. Temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. There is a full moon in Sagittarius on the 17th of June. And again, that that energy is all about, it's about embracing adventure. It's also about sometimes taking actions and steps too quickly. So again, a lot of you are going to have this urge to reach out to your twin flame with that Sagittarius energy, which I'm not surprised I saw right there. However, temperance is about balancing and grounding, allowing things to happen in divine timing. As I said, allow them to reach out to you. 
try not to have that urge to reach out to them um, because you know temperance is about letting things happen with the flow going with the flow patience is the virtue but it's also about taking time and space for yourself as I saw with the strength card as I saw with the four of swords as well okay I've been shuffling a lot I'm just gonna pick three cards out one two and three I'm so sorry guys I know my laptop is overheating and it's just not ideal and it's not cute to hear all of that in the background but I am trying I've been trying for a while to get it all fixed but it is not it's not great is it but yeah all right so as I said they will be communicating with you on their own timing it's very important right now you take time for yourself with that strength card with that four of swords Resting, retreating, meditating, doing your own thing, making yourself stronger, focusing on yourself. Temperance here is again about patience as a virtue. It's about emotional healing. It's about taking so much time for yourself and letting things happen in divine timing. Owning that Queen of Cups energy, owning your vulnerability. You know, some of you again are going to go between that back and forth energy of wanting to communicate with them and then thinking, well, no, you know what, I'm just going to cut them out. It's that two-sided energy that I'm seeing. A lot of you are juggling that energy with that two of pentacles. You know, these waves are very rocky. You feel emotionally perhaps unstable, a lot of you. But there is also that feeling of emotional stability. So a lot of you are going between two energies. Also, this justice card here, you know, this is about creating balance in your life right now. Very, very, very important. A lot of you are wishing from for your twin flame to be in the situation with you and then you're going to this back and forth sort of energy again two-sided with that five of wands in a conflict in a conflict i'm just going to take a sip of my tea two of pentacles balancing trying to juggle not understanding the situation completely page of swords you know is about them communicating with you on your own agenda your own on, on their agenda, sorry, and they will open up to you and they will talk to you, but there has been hurt in the past which really needs to be addressed. It needs to be worked through. A lot of you are very much so on that path with that Queen of Cups that came out, um, you know, that Strength card as well and Temperance. You're on that path. Don't let go of that path. Keep continuing on with it. It will really, really help you. It's very positive. You're going in the right direction and I do see that, you know, your Twin Flame will communicate with you and they will I do feel they will eventually come back around as well with the six of ones because this looks like they're coming towards you and it's also about them taking action. It's also, you know, this fire energy that I'm seeing, but mainly it's about victory, progress, success. And this is also not just in terms of yourself, but with this twin flame situation. So you'll feel victorious and good about how you have really adapted to strength, right? You have become so much more powerful and so much stronger within yourself but also in terms of the six of wands it's about them coming towards you so it's not only about victory and success in terms of how you've grown and handled yourself throughout this whole connection and the situation but also how they've come towards you so this victory and success is not just about them it's also about you and it's really important that you take this time to really focus on yourself your energy your healing you just 100% you really need to be able you know to do that so this is a very important time to you know just focus 100% on yourself and really you know allow things to just happen have some you know balance in your life and I do feel like the universe has done this specifically to try and teach you a lesson to essentially see how strong you are to be able to focus on yourself more than someone else because right now I'm seeing hurt you need to be able to you know with this queen of cups energy sit in your power emotionally not battle with yourself not try and you know reach out and try and um you know reach out to your twin flame because I feel like they've caused you hurt and you, you know it's, it's not wise to reach out to to them there's this inkling that you will feel because of that full moon in Sagittarius you will feel like you really want to reach out to them and it will be this very sudden urge where some of you will just want to pick up the phone and text them or call them or Maybe even show up at their door, but I don't recommend doing any of that. I just recommend allowing yourself to get through this, just to get through the whole situation and, you know, really find your feet first and create that balance. Like we see with justice, which is ruled by Libra, right? Creating that balance. And I see that eventually, you know, you will be much more balanced, much more grounded um, and, you know, they will communicate with you 
And it will almost be when you're just in this really strong position in your life. That's when things will really start occurring and you'll find that not only will you be in a strong position in your life, but this person will also come back around to you. And it will be your choice as to whether you want to keep them or cut them out. But what I'm seeing is it's important for you to really focus so much more so on yourself, Gemini. So, you know, that Sagittarius energy is very visible because of that full moon. But Gemini, you know, this is your reading. I hope, you know, it resonates with you. It makes sense. It's more so about yourself now. And I hope, you know, this, this helps you in your journey and your path with your twin flame and the situation. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Comment down below how it resonates with your situation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who have. Don't forget to check out the bracelets which are on Etsy as well. I'll link those down below as well as um, the, all the private reading information which will be in the description box of this video. Whether it is the free reading giveaway or the private paid readings. And I will see you all very soon. I hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, Gemini.